Well, they've served their country, protected you and me, and sometimes they're too proud to approach someone about their problems. Our brave veterans should have what we do, a warm house and caring folks around them. And that's where Ken Leslie from Veterans Matter and you come in. Good morning. Good Thanks morning. for being here How today. Are you? Nice seeing you good, again. good. So this is a big weekend coming up. Uh, it's something that you guys have done for a number of years, yeah, right? Yep, um, the yep. walk and also the tent city. Right, right. So tell me, first of all, for folks who haven't heard of Veterans Matter, what you guys do. So Veterans Matter started here in Toledo to house 35 local veterans and, and it grew when Dusty Hill was ZZ Top asked me to expand it to Houston and John Mellencamp did the same with Indiana mm -hmm. and Mitch Album, Katy Perry, Kid Rock raised a bunch of money in Michigan wow. and, and as of this morning, uh, we're at 3,187 mm -hmm. veterans in 22 states nationwide. There's still some to go, though. Oh, yeah, yeah. There's 37,787 yeah. veterans on the streets. Yeah, talk a little bit about that, why this is, why this has happened and, you know, why, why we need to help them. Uh, it, there's a lot of reasons why people yeah. become homeless. Uh, some of them are, are driven by the PTSD. They mm -hmm. try to escape it on the streets, and they, they, they use drugs and alcohol to try to run, and they're the first ones that are that 22 they, yeah. because they've given up the hope, and, 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 and all they need is a little bit of hope. So the VA finds them, helps them get the right place. Mm -hmm. The only thing preventing them is the deposit, and I know sure. a lot of working people that don't have the deposit. Right, so. that's hard. First and last month's rent, like that's a lot of money up front for yep. folks. Yep. Right? So we created a system that lets... Uh, uh, the VA in any funded area uh, and a donor can actually literally when you donate mm -hmm. the money goes to house a veteran and wow. every dollar we deploy results in another veteran housed every single time and this is incredible so we're talking about only seven hundred and fifty dollars is all you need to get that veteran in housing yeah, that's all they need I mean, it's a it. national average it, and it, it is and it's really that simple mm -hmm. I mean they don't have a deposit we provide the deposit mm -hmm. that's it that's it yeah and then talk about the success rate here though I think people want to know that when they're giving their money to something that this is something that's sticking right 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 so because of the VA I mean they really do a good job hopefully your audience is sitting down because the VA does wow. do some really good stuff <laughs> Wrong. And, but but um, the, because of their case management afterwards it has a 91 percent success that's rate awesome. keeping them housed at least a year and, wow. and that is a powerful thing that's a credit to the the support and concern and care that we as communities give them not only with the VA but also through all the different different things so a wonderful program here uh, helping veterans right here in our area and you can be part of this coming up this weekend so the walk is Friday right right, right. kicks off six o'clock if they want to register for that they can go to veterans matter slash walk tent city is something we started yeah. in 1990 it's an mm -hmm. annual festival of compassion I think all of the volunteer slots are almost filled okay um, and, and it's just an amazing thing, all the different people and groups that come together. Like we have a full-scale medical clinic uh, uh, that, that Mercy and ProMedica and UTMC all come together, actual doctors, cardiologists. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's a real clinic and bringing accessibility to people that may not have them. A couple years ago, uh, Women's Services gave mammograms wow. and seven of the 21 women needed follow-up service. Oh, no kidding. But we have clothing, haircuts, IDs, and birth certificates are available. And that's very difficult for someone who, who might be homeless to have that kind of documentation oh, yeah. they need to get out. So right? you can't get a job and you can't get a place if you right. don't have some sort of ID. Right. So you're there to help them through that. Is this just for veterans or any member of our community? So Tent someone? City is is something that's always been uh, for anybody who's unhoused mm -hmm. and, and even marginally housed. Uh, people come down if they're in need. Mm -hmm. So that's the, the basis of Tent City and the veterans program we created uh, five years ago mm -hmm. uh, to be able to, to do what we do. Wonderful. So um, again, you can sign up to be part of the walk that starts you said six o'clock on six Friday? o'clock Friday yes ma'am and that's right there uh, it starts um, at the one government center yep, right? yep. Civic Center Mall which, okay. which I tell people is a bad place in town it's right between <laughs> the police station the courthouse and jail <laughs> <laughs> that's where you don't normally want to go yeah, yeah, right yeah. now we want you to come out there for the walk on Friday and then um, participate in everything that's going on there with Tent City over the weekend I think we've ordered up some decent weather for you guys yeah thank you so much <laughs> I hope we, so. we're owed one I mean <laughs> <laughs> yeah and it's a rough time of year you never know it really but is. it's a it's a really good um, it gives everybody a really good idea of what these folks are going through it every does day, that right? it sucks when it's cold and rainy. Right, it really right. Is. All right, well, you're doing some really great work, Thank and you, uh, thanks for coming in today. Thank you all. Appreciate Thank it. you, uh, everybody, for Yeah, us. for helping out, yeah. Well, when we come back, incredible illusions, impossible escapes, mind-blowing predictions, a preview to the champions of magic when WTOL 11 Your Day continues.